Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. It's been a while since we've seen this. I'm finally getting around to working on the table again, and I have been wanting to do more videos on this, but it just hasn't worked out in my life recently. So now we're going to be jumping into this. Hopefully I'll be getting it done in the next month to two months or so. So we will be having a little bit of fun with that. Now, if you do want to follow along with this, I have plans for this available on my website, and I am going to be building these from the plans. So everything you see here will be the same as what you see in the plans. And today we're going to be working on building the base of the base structure. This is all built upside down. Last time we built the verticals and now we're going to be building, putting on the feet and the struts between those. So this is going to be a little bit fun. Let's dive in. It has been a long time since we've been working on this table and you can tell that because this is old footage. Uh, this is back from before Luke started coming over and shooting a lot of the footage. So I'm sorry for the lower quality of it, but we'll be getting to newer footage in a little while and you'll see a stark difference in the two. So today we're gonna actually work on the feet of the table and here we're gonna be cutting the ends of it to shape them, make them look a little bit nicer. And then we'll also be cutting a notch in the top that will accept the legs. So let's actually dive into it and see how this gets done. So now that we've cut the notch out in all of the feet, now we need to work on the vertical. So we need this to be able to fit into that slot and slide all the way down just like we did for the other side of the table. Uh, so we're going to be cutting out the notch in all three of these. Now in the past, on the last video, I cut out all three together, so I want to show you cutting out one of them at a time. We'll make this fit together, and then we'll start working on the horizontal struts that then connect the feet together. So let's dive in. Oh! 
Okay, so we've got this joint connected from the leg to the foot, and now we actually need to put the stretchers in that go between all of the feet, keeping them separated correctly. So we gotta create a little notch here and a little notch here. The problem is we need to make sure that all of the legs have the notches at the exact same point, and not particularly in any particular point to the ends, but in relationship to where the leg is. So what I've done is I've actually cut out one of the legs according to the plans, and we're gonna then use that to then transfer it onto all of the other legs to make sure that they are all exactly the same. So let's do that. So we've cut out the notches in the feet and now we need to actually cut out the stretchers that connect all the feet together and separate them out. The difficult part is I want them to all be the exact same spacing that we have on the top support beams. So what I'm going to use is the stretcher for the top support beams to then transfer those marks on to the bottom stretchers. That way I know that they're all exactly the same. I could follow the plans and lay them out by whatever the plans are, but if I measured something slightly off or there was some issue, then I would have a problem when it all comes together. So I want to use the reality of the top stretcher to transfer these three notches down to the bottom stretcher. That way all the legs are perfectly vertical when they connect top to bottom. So there you have it. This is, um, I'm really getting excited on this. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it looks a little bit wobbly right now, but in the future we're gonna be actually putting in diagonal struts that go from the base to the foot, um, as well as diagonal struts that go from leg to leg so that this whole thing becomes solid. Now, there isn't gonna be any glue holding this together. It's just gonna be held together with compression and gravity and the 400 pounds of the top. So it's kind of an interesting design because if I ever need to move, I can pull it all apart, unpack it all down into small pieces and ship it fairly easily. So this is going to be fun. Hopefully next time we'll be doing all of the diagonals, 
then doing a little bit of carving and a few other details. And I'm really looking forward to this. So I hope you like it. If you did, please let me know your thoughts or ideas. Is there something you think I should do better next time? Let me know down in the comments. I loved it. I do read as many of them as I possibly can. Also, if you'd like to like it and subscribe, that really does help out the channel. That's about it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Hey, check it out. The table's right side up now.